beautiful day. So uh, get out and enjoy it. We finally got a hold of John from John's One Man Band. He's on the line from the island. And if you go to if you go to rock101.com, go to the Bro Jake Show page and see this band in action. We're going to play this whole song coming up from his one man band. He does the bass, he does the guitar, the rhythm. He doesn't sing. He does sing on certain tracks, but this guy from North Van, he is really good too. Mm-hmm. How's it going there, John? Not too bad. How about you? Oh man, you've been blowing our minds. <laughs> Thanks. You've been blowing our minds. I, I've never seen anything so mesmerizing in all my life. I mean, I've been on the web. You know, you, you find things and people say, oh, you got to check this out. But everybody here at Rock 101 are very impressed, my man. Thanks. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. You just turned 18 on April 26th. Yes. So how, and, of course, you've been, uh, you've been playing guitar since the age of five. So how did you get started? I know your dad is a big-time producer. It was it all part of that, being in the production studio? Yeah, yeah. Um, I had piano lessons when I was five. And I got a guitar around that time as well, but I wasn't really interested in it, in it until I was around eight years old. Mm-hmm. And around that time, I was learning drums as well, and I did my first recording of Working for the Weekend when I was nine or ten. So, yeah, it was just because we have a studio in the house, so I was all, I've always been playing around on it and stuff. So, Where did you come up with the idea to quarter screen the the screen when we look at it you see four parts there are four parts going with hand, even down to the hand clapping when did you thought you think that this was going to be something really cool oh um it was my dad's idea to do the four uh the four screen split screen thing right um we just thought this would look cool and do kind of a woodstock kind of thing with it what made you uh choose boston me and my brother were uh driving around in the car listening to four play long time and we thought it would be kind of funny if we did an acapella version of it. Mm-hmm. So when I got home, I started laying down the organ track, and I just thought, okay, I might as well just keep going with this, <laughs> except it won't be acapella. It'll be the real thing. Wow. Who Now, is that your brother doing the background vocals? No, no, that's my friend Spencer Needham. He's very good. Yeah. He's really cool. And the lead singer's from North Van, I've just discovered. Yes. What's yes, his name? David Steele. And he's a session singer that does work for my dad occasionally. Wow, amazing. I mean, uh, so what's the vibe at school? What's everybody thinking, (laughs) like all your pals and stuff? This must be pretty cool for you. Yeah, yeah, everybody keeps giving me great responses and stuff. So obviously, you're, this is going to go incredibly wild. I mean, right now, it's uh, it's on the front page of just about every screen. Yeah. yeah. Pe- people have visited the site, and they are all impressed with it. What are you going to do from here? What's your next, what's your next big idea? Um, well, I have a lot of songs in the works. Um, I've done a lot of Beatles songs, and I've kind of half-started Roundabout by Yes. Wow. Uh, Shine On You Crazy Diamond is another one that I've almost finished. I just need to replay all the instruments because they were all just guide tracks. And I thought maybe I'll do Rosanna by Toto or maybe a Who song or Journey or something. So where do you get all this classic rock from? How come you're so interested in classic rock and roll? I'm not sure. I just Modern rock just doesn't interest me as much at all. Right on. Yeah, well, that makes us happy, I can tell you that, because, you know, I wouldn't want you to be doing, like, uh, you know, ghost tracking four squares of Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, yes, and Lady Gaga. Yeah, well, definitely. continued success, man. It's really yeah. a, a real pleasure having you on, and uh, how are the chicks, by the way? <laughs> are they starting to happen right now? You know That's what I'm right saying? Over, no. Yeah. Come on. you got to start marketing yourself. You're ready. You are ready, young man. <laughs> It's woman time. (laughs) Catch those ladies. Get to catch those ladies, John. (laughs) Uh, Thanks for being part of the bro show here, Classic Rock 101. And uh, we're just so very impressed. Your your dad's going to be proud. We're proud of you. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Go to rock101.com. Go to the Bro Jake page. Download this to see how they do it. You know, the keyboards, the drums, the guitar, the singing, the background singing, the hand clapping. And you'll find out exactly how music is put together in a production studio. And to John's one-man band, congratulations, man. You're rocking now on 101.1 Vancouver. Classic Rock 101, long-time foreplay, Boston. John's one-man band from the island, North Vancouver lead singer. 
Mr. Steele. Good stuff there, 914. Mm-hmm. Isn't that awesome? So good. Wow. Go to uh, rock101.com, go to the bro page, and you will see that in action. The screen is all quartered up, and you can see what is going on there. Now, this morning we found out that laughter, it's good to have a